Madman Vice President. I'm sorry, that didn't come out right. Madam Vice President, thank you so much for sitting down with me for this interview. As you know, I've already done an interview with President Clinton. I, I'm sorry, that's another Freudian slip. Uh, President Donald Trump about his new Trump mattress that he claims will trump all other mattresses. I understand now that you've come out with your own mattress you call the Kamala mattress. Consumers are very eager to hear about this new mattress. Uh, what can you tell us about it? Well, there are a number of things. I will tell you first and foremost, one of my highest priorities is to do what we can to support and strengthen the middle class. Is that by making a cheaper mattress? <laughs> I'm sorry, I meant to say a less expensive mattress. Is that how you're going to help the middle class by offering something cheaper? I mean, everyone knows Trump is going to charge too much for a mattress with his own name on it. Um, when I look at the aspirations, the goals, the ambitions of the American people, I think that um, people are ready for a new way forward. A new way forward by better and cheaper sleep? Is that what you do on day one of your administration? Day one, it's gonna be about one, implementing my plan for what I call an opportunity economy. I've already laid out a number of um, proposals in that regard, which include what we're gonna to do to bring down um, the cost of everyday goods. A cheaper mattress, I mean a less expensive mattress, would indeed be a great place to start since they are already so expensive. So what will be the price for a queen size version of your Kamala mattress? $6,000. $6,000? You can't be serious. That's not going to help families. To help them buy a car seat, to help them buy baby clothes. A... So families are going to spend $6,000 for your new mattress, and that is going to help them buy baby clothes? Um, how do you figure that's going to work? Well, let's start with the fact that when Joe Biden and I came in office, it, during the height of a pandemic, we saw over 10 million jobs were lost. Uh, People, I mean, literally, we were all tracking the numbers. Hundreds of people a day were dying because of COVID. Um, the economy had crashed. Uh, in large part, all of that because of mismanagement by Donald Trump of that crisis. No, 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 I didn't ask you about the pandemic or if you think Trump mishandled the pandemic. I asked you about how your $6,000 mattress is going to help people buy baby clothes. You are right. Prices, in particular for groceries, are still too high. The American people know it, I know it. Thank you. I usually am almost always right. Uh, yes, prices on everything are too high, and everybody knows it, so it means nothing for you to say you know it. The question is, a third time, how is your $6,000 mattress going to help families buy baby clothes? Dealing with an issue like price gouging. But you don't think $6,000 for your mattress isn't price gouging? Talk about removing the plank from your own eye to see clearly to remove the speck from your neighbor's eyes. Uh, if you're going to charge $6,000 for a mattress in a queen, how much is a, how much is a king? $25,000. $25,000 for a king? So you think only rich people have kings and thus you, they ought to pay more for their mattresses? They ought to pay more for their fair share? If that's the case, I'm just curious, what would you charge for people for, a, say, a full-size mattress? Hundreds of dollars. Hundreds of dollars is low compared to 6,000, but that's probably still too much for the working middle class and the poor. Why don't you remain consistent in looking out for the poor and give them your mattresses for free since you're charging the rich so much for a king size mattress? Is it only about making money with your new Kamala mattress? Um, I mean, how much money do you think you're personally going to benefit from your new mattress? Probably a trillion dollars over the next 10 years. I have to admit I'm blown away that you would actually admit that you're going to make that much from your mattress. Uh, it seems the only reason you're running for president is to promote your mattress and get rich. Is, is that a fair assessment? We cut child poverty in America by over 50%. Um, that's not exactly what I asked you, and I'm really confused how you charging so much for your mattress would cut child poverty by any percentage, much less over 50%. But maybe I should move on and ask a different question. Uh, as you know, mattresses are required to be flame retardant by the Corrupt Product Safety Commission. Uh, I mean, the Consumer Product Safety Corruption. I can't get this right. I mean, the Consumer Product Sickening Commission. I mean, the Consumer Product Safety Commission, finally. 
How are you going to make your mattress flame retardant? Donald Trump said he was going to do a number of things. Indeed, he said he was going to use drone strikes against his competition. <laughs> and now that you've entered the mattress competition, are you worried? And can you please answer my first question? How are you going to make your mattresses flame retardant? I was in Nevada recently, a, a, a grandmother who showed me her receipts. Listen, I have no idea where you're going with that, and it seems to be a way of avoiding the question, so I'm going to take a break from talking about mattresses for just a moment and ask you about fracking. Uh, back in 2019, you said you were against fracking, yet in the interview with Dana Bash, you said you supported fracking. It seems totally contradictory, so I'm thinking the reason for the contradiction is you misunderstood her question, and maybe uh, you thought she was talking about the F word for sex. <laughs> fracking is the process of extracting oil and natural gas from shale rock. Do you support fracking and not the F word for sex? As vice president, I did not ban fracking. As president, I will not ban fracking. Awesome. Awesome. In 2020, I made very clear where I stand. We are in 2024, and I've not changed that position, nor will I going forward. I kept my word, and I will keep my word. Awesome. I'm glad to know we've clarified that question. But I guess you could support both. <laughs> uh, now that we've settled that, let's get back to mattresses, if you don't mind. As you probably know, Simmons Mattress Company has the Beautyrest mattress, and they have a couple of mattresses they call the Beautyrest Black and the Beautyrest Black Hybrid. Since you're the first black vice president and you're making your own mattress, wouldn't you consider it prudent to call your mattresses the Kamala Black and the Kamala Black Hybrid? Wouldn't that be a great marketing plan? Next question, please. Oh, come on. Don't you think that would be a great marketing idea? Yes, I would. So you will. That's awesome. Well, okay, I guess that's all I have. Uh, I can't thank you enough for sitting down with me and having an interview about your black Kamala mattress. Best of luck to you in this venture. This joke is brought to you by Sleep Essentials, the most serious mattress company. We may joke about a lot of stuff, but we never joke around about mattresses. If you're in the market for a mattress, you must check us out and especially see our complete mattress education video at sleepessentials.com. Thanks so much for laughing with us. Now let's get down to serious mattress business.